Kevin Ford in control of the stick at this moment. Discovery now going subsonic, the fleet leading shuttle announcing its arrival at the landing site with a pair of sonic booms. The late afternoon sunshine gleaming off its thermal protection heat shield. Three minutes until touchdown. Rick Sterko has taken back the stick from Kevin Ford. The vortices off the wings, very obvious. Discovery continuing its turn around the heading alignment circle, aligning with runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base. Discovery on at the 180. One at the 180. The slow, gentle turn around the heading alignment circle. Commander Rick Sterko will soon align Discovery with runway 22, time to touch down two minutes. Discovery on at the 90. On at the 90. Houston. Discovery, we copy. This view from the uh, heads up display camera, the same view that uh, Rick Sterko and Kevin Ford are seeing now that we're aligned with runway 22. One minute until touchdown. Discovery right on the center line. Moments from now, Rick Sterko will flare up Discovery's nose. Pilot Kevin Ford will deploy the landing gear. Pre-flare maneuver conducted. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Kevin Ford now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, California, wrapping up a 5.7 million mile mission to resupply and fortify the International Space Station. Tim Cobra home after 58 days in space. Parametric pressure and wind speed. Speed now 1,800 miles an hour. Approximately two and a half times the speed of sound. Altitude is 15 miles. 
67 miles to the landing site. We're now passing below Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. 1,100 miles an hour, altitude 13 miles, 70,000 feet, 47 miles to the landing site. Endeavor Houston, you're on energy approaching the hack. No changes to winds or weather. Nominal shoot deploy. No change to winds and weather, nominal shoot. Hot mic endeavor. Endeavour now slowing uh, below the speed of sound. Two sonic booms signaling its arrival at the California, at the California coast. Speed just over 500 miles an hour, 25 miles to the landing site. Chris Ferguson has taken over the controls of the shuttle as he uh, arrives at the heading alignment circle. Again, this is the 342 degree left-hand turn to line him up for Edwards Runway 04, a temporary runway that is providing a southwest and northeast landing. Speed 530 miles an hour. Altitude six miles. 21 miles to the landing site. Endeavor, on at the 180. On at the 180. Pilot Eric Bow now getting a chance to get the feel for Endeavor as it uh, returns from Earth to Earth. Speed 470 miles an hour. Altitude 200,000, 20,000 feet. Endeavor, on at the 90. On at the 90. Commander Chris Ferguson back in control. Endeavour on course past the 90 degree portion of the heading alignment circle. Lining up with one way 04, Edwards Air Force Base. Speed 400 miles an hour. 
altitude 1,100 feet. Commander Chris Ferguson uh, on glide slope. Speed 350 miles an hour. Altitude 2,000 feet. Landing gear down. Gear down and locked. Touchdown. Hot air probe deploying drag chute that'll help slow Endeavor on the runway. Nose gear touchdown. Final reveal for Endeavour's home improvement to the International Space Station mission is now complete. 124th Space Shuttle mission, 27th Shuttle mission of the station, and the 22nd mission for Endeavour. Happy wheel stop endeavor. Welcome back. That was a great way to finish a fantastic flight, Fergie.